start flares now. Missile, missile, missile. Missile, missile, missile. Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. As you probably know, Ukraine are due to inherit some used F-16s. You guys have asked how Ukraine might use these F-16s effectively and realistically. We've had a chat and we've come up with three likely uses. One would be QRA intercept. So as we know over the last few weeks and months, Russian Su-34s and Su-35s have been using adapted glide bombs to punch into Ukrainian positions up to 50 miles with impunity. Ukraine are struggling to stop these weapons. Secondly, they could be used in a seed role to suppress SAMs and radars near the flot, probably up to 40 miles past the flot. As well as that, they could be used as a limited strike role against targets on and past the flot, depending on the type of munitions they'll be supplied and integrated with. So today we're running a mission to show two of those aspects of the QRA intercept of the SU-34s and 35s with glide bombs and strike about 30 miles past the flot. So let's look at the geography today. I'm sure you all know it by now, but that is Crimea there. That is Russia there. That's the official border there. And this is Ukraine here. The yellow is an interpretation of the current flot. First, let's have a look at the Russians. We've modelled this area of the flot. There are lots of units, artillery, as well as logistics and air defence. They have four layers of air defence today. First, Shorad. They have a number of IR-guided missiles, trailer and man-pad type, with ranges up to four miles, shown in these red rings here. As well as that, they have medium-range SA-11M and SA-17 coverage, about 10 miles back from the flot. You can see range rings here, here here as we have modeled today. The third layer of coverage will be S300 pushed back about 70 miles from the flot due to high miles and whatnot threat. We just have one in play today here, range about 70, 80 miles. And finally, long range high mad layer four, we have S400s here and here with their four 8N series missiles, ranges of about 160 miles pushing right into Ukraine. That's a tough nut to crack. They have a flight of Su-34s attacking today, starting about 100 miles south of the flot, armed with not the correct type of glide bombs because we didn't have time to get them working. What they've done in real life is converted their existing unguided bombs with wing and guidance kits to give them a range of about 50 miles. Today we've used the J-cell, the American J-cell, just as an analogue because it's there and working. Those aircraft will fly at high speed and high altitude as per how these weapons work. They are going to attack a target 25 miles past the flot, a nominal target here of four Ukrainian warehouses. They will launch at their max range of about 50 nautical miles, which will be here. They will, of course, be escorted by Su-35s, each equipped with uh, modern R-77-1 and modernised archer weapons, all controlled today by AWACS here over Russia, well out of Patriot range. Today's target is to stop all four Su-34s as well as bombing a target uh, which will be here about 30 miles south of the flot and we'll talk about that. So we've got to penetrate that air defence. How are we going to do it? First, we need to gain air superiority around our area of the flot and we're going to do that by moving a Patriot site here, range about 80 miles, giving us good superiority up to the flot. Then we're going to have a low level strike transferring to an intercept. We today will be in the donated F-16s. We'll have six 500 pound Snake Eye high drag bombs, a fuel tank. Uh, presumably these aircraft will come with AMRAMs. I don't see why they wouldn't. Four AMRAM Charlie models, which should be fine today, and uh, two modern Sidewinders. And they will be equipped with J Hickmas, as I believe the early block donated aircraft will be equipped with. It's possible these aircraft could come with longer range cruise type missiles but we're going to assume that they're not therefore making it as hard as we can again we want to make this mission as hard as we can for our enjoyment we will start near the patriot about 75 miles back from the flot uh, that's the mission so far now that's as far as we can go in this area of the map because as you know this area of the map in dts is not actually modeled and we need it fully modeled so we translate everything a few hundred miles southeast here copy and paste it over here where we have terrain modeled we've got all sam sites and whatnot in apart from the s400 the reason i've missed them out is they're not really going to be in play today it's going to be a low level strike and we're not going within 100 miles of the s400 essentially nullifying it 
So guys, details of the mission. Today will be a time on target strike. We will take off from a road farp here with eight F-16s. We'll take off in our own time and we'll meet up at steer point one here. We will then loiter until 11.09 or nine past the local time. Maybe we'll do this in UTC rather than local. Nine past the hour, exactly, we start moving to steer point two. I've calculated an average speed of 450 knots CAS at low level, but we may need to be dynamic. At just past 17 minutes, we arrive at steer point two. This is going to be, again, a visual ref where we can calibrate our INS if we need to to the top warehouse there. Then we push in towards the flot at steer point three. This is our initial point. We should arrive at 21 minutes and 37 seconds. We then, of course, need to push past the SAMs, watching out for local IR-guided missiles and medium-range HIMAD SA-11. Pass various other local defense and attack the target. Here is the target today. I've given you all separate targets because they are static targets as per your steel point fours. The bombs should release at 25 minutes in. That's our time on target. What the targets are doesn't really matter. They're buildings and oil tanks and stuff like that. Once we have bombed the warehouses at low altitude, we will climb because our second mission becomes apparent at that point. Above us somewhere will be the four SU-34s. We've got to search for them and attack them from low down. This is how I theorize these aircraft could be used low level bursting at the last minute to high altitude to shoot the su-34s down and then getting back down to low level that's how they can avoid the s-400s and maybe the s-300 the s-300 will be in play today and it's something at this point we're going to have to think about we'll be fighting in this area here between sa-11 sa-17 and s-300 or sa-10 coverage so as i said is a burst attack on the su-34s then straight back down to low level and then once all four have been destroyed back home however you can ideally through the waypoint chain it's the weakest point in the defenses at this day uh, back to the bombing as i said plus 25 time on target we'll all use the same profile which will be six snake eye a ripple 50 feet craters and it'll all be ccrp on sp4 guys uh that's it it demands excellent teamwork and accuracy and it's going to be a very fast burst fight um any predictions or thoughts at this point something's gonna blow up hmm welcome in viewers today's pilots are fire simba grump drop cap Strider, Dark, Bird. Hello, boys. Oh, hello, hello, boys. Hello. Let's take off to get to a steer point one where we will wait for time on target. Off we go. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know that time, guys? That time? Yeah, Cap, do your thing. I was like, what's that friggin' knobhead doing? I'm usually at the back. Time, so check around your cockpit. Any switches you might have missed, anything that might have gone wrong, which, as you know, always happens. Double check if you're a bomber, you're on steer point four. Check your autos, check your CCRP symbology is up and functional. Simba, once you hit steer point one, which is VRF of a Patriot site, get into an orbit and try and attain 450 knots. The rest of us will get with you. Viewers, today is time on target as most real strikes are. Um, we want to leave steer point one at nine minutes past the hour, so we've got five minutes to play. If you can, orbit with the Patriot as your center point, guys, um, to keep this as accurate as possible. Oh, 
this is exciting guys. Obviously in real life they wouldn't have silly bump flights like this viewers. This is purely for Grim Reapers for your viewing pleasure. In real life there would be one, two, maybe three man ships I would imagine. Also in real life will they be integrated with and supplied with um, cruise missiles? Uh, European storm shadows, stuff like that. Who knows? No idea. If that's the case then they just need to take off and fire from 300 miles away pretty much. But that would be very boring for you. Right guys, we are hack minus two minutes. We are hack minus one. Hack minus 30 seconds. Get down the pipe. Bye bye bye. Hack minus 10 seconds. And that's pretty much hack. Let's go guys. We are viewers on time, on speed. Well done Simba so far. Quite a long way to go. Our next steer point will be steer point two with a time over steer point of 17.25. We are 80 miles within uh, the flocks into Ukraine, so we are safe even from S400 here. We have zero threat at the moment. Guys, I just had a call from Ukraine Command. They have spotted on their radar a flight of four SU-34s, probably with glide bombs, heading towards the flot in our sector. We have been tasked to be on target at steer point four at 25 minutes past the hour, and then we're gonna try and attack the SU-34 incursion. Viewers, if you wanna know what's going on geographically, everything is on our display here see the threat rings of the various SAMs as well. Again, obviously, as you know, these planes wouldn't buy in parade formation on the real flight. And we are all danger freaks as well. We like the added danger. Yeah. Because, you know, flying a low-level strike mission is not scary enough. There we go. <laughs> Simba, distance two, steer point two, please. Thirty-eight nautical miles, five minutes, seventeen seconds to go. Roger, we want to be there at 1725, uh, which my math sounds about right. Yep, about 10 seconds ahead of schedule. Roger. Okay, nice. Russian, I've been up here. Russian right. radiation, the uh, AWACS is in play, not that it already matters. Seven seconds ahead. Seven seconds ahead, right, just to reiterate, at steer point two, we want to be there at 1725 as best we can. We get an AWACS, by the way. We do not get an AWACS. There are no Ukrainian AWACSs I'm aware of. We would have EWR in real life, but you don't think that some allies might try and? Oh, uh, NATO's on holiday. For NATO's siesta. on holiday, and I forgot to put an AWACS in. Is the real answer. <laughs> um, can I have a bomber? Just let me know their current distance. They're just playing Steve One Four. Eighty-one miles. That's Seventy-one. Are you sure you've got 81, dog? You've got busted now, but you have. I've got 70 miles. Yeah, I got 70. Yeah, so. yeah, okay. Apart from dark, we should be good. I'm definitely on steer point four. That's weird. Update uh, distance to steer point two. Nine miles, minute 20 seconds. Minute 20 seconds. Roger, we've just clicked uh, 16 minutes. Uh, yeah. 17 to we are on hack guys and feeling sexy just like a real combat mission here's an interesting thing for you viewers i've been really re recently talking to real combat pilots and, and you guys and one thing i never really thought about is the fact that you don't talk to your wingmen on these missions it's all done by pre-briefing visual cues so i'm going to plan a mission to do that later in the week where we have to fly like this but we can't talk to each other i mean that's going to be incredibly difficult that's what real guys do, so, yeah. 
Cap's going to be in pain. Again. I'm going to no. I'm going to talk to the viewers, but I'm going to have my mic turned off. But I will be shouting and swearing at you when everything starts to break apart. It's just a really Stand interesting by. chain difference between game and real life. Stand by for a right turn up ahead, guys. Right at steer point two, guys. The left hanger will be a VFR rep for an INS alignment. Do it if you need to. Uh, if not, the INS is good. Just carry on. Uh, obviously, satellites are being blocked here, so. Uh, Ten seconds to turn. Uh, Simba, you are impeccable. Is to the second. Look at that. Someone's been practicing. Here we go. We are literally just five seconds out. Now that is well within real re uh, real tolerance. Right, guys. Oh, Matrix would get on to me. Yeah, it would. Uh, right, we're on to steer point three. That is our point on the flop. Our time on target on steer point three is plus 21 minutes, 37 seconds. Visual smoke. Yep, that's a good idea where the flop is uh, because tanks are shooting each other. Still outside S400 range, so uh, and certainly out of LOS at this uh, altitude, so we're all perfectly safe. Here come the boys. Chumba wumbering their way into formation. Once we do get near the flop, I suggest we start moving to a more realistic trail uh, because it will get probably dangerous. Well, we've got some talking time. Why are glide bombs so dangerous to Ukraine at the moment? It's, they can't intercept them for some reason. They can't shoot them down. Don't know why. Still, we are within uh, Buk firing range now. Uh, no radiation picked up. Don't know why. It's all set up, ready to go. They have a tendency of turning their radars on at the last second to try and surprise us. I mean, these are Russians we're talking about here. If we do get fired up, obviously hit the deck. Chapla, sanity check. We are 19 hack, 19 minutes, 30 seconds. We want to be on next steer point at 21 seconds. 21 minutes, 37 seconds. That is exactly two mics from our pause, which looks about yep. right, Simba. Yep, about five seconds behind. Works for us. Nine miles, 39 miles to target. 39 miles to target, uh, steer point four, agreed. So here we go, That's here we go. Let's spike. All right, lower your altitude, guys. And they do need line of sight for shooting these SAMs, viewers, so low level is a real thing. Doesn't keep us safe from IR SAMs, which will shoot us, but right flop ahead of us, you can see. There's my stiff one, four, 40 miles away. Nine minutes, or nine miles to turn point. Watch out. We're notching the SA-11, I'm not worried about him. He's not spiking. 30 seconds. Agreed. Cap, that uh, tree road just said, wished us good luck. Thank you. The one I just flew by. Tree road's the best road. It's on the perfect 10 notch. seconds to turn. Alright, we've worked our turn. Act turn. We've uh, worked our way into trail naturally, so I'm all happy with that, guys. Perfectly on time to the second. Simba Wimba. Right, next to steer point four, target point. We're aiming for 25 pass. Oh my gosh. Is Far gonna help you? Oh, just somebody flew right in front of my nose. Uh, Simba, start setting up your edge ground munitions. We are at the flop. This is where the war is being fought, Bewington, Wilmington, Bewington's. All right, maintain about 475. I'm going to try and try and check on the map real quick, viewers. Obviously, it's very dangerous to do so. There's miles out. SU-34s in with their glide bombs. They will fire their glide bombs, so we do need to stop them. What was the distance, Scrum? Now, six miles out. Shit, shit, that's gone quick. Wow, we're in the middle of all those SA-11s. We're no, just... that can't be right. Fire Triple out. fire, ground fire. Triple fire. I've got... I don't know what I've got. There we go. That's I've that got three. Down. I've lost all sorts of... Just go no. mid. You're, you're, you're getting 18 low. Miles. 18 miles. Yes. 18 miles. Yep, I got 17 point eight now. We are in the middle of all the SA-11s and the SA-10 firing range as well, but again, lowness is goodness. 
All right, Stick pushing up the 480. 480. Time is 23 and 30. 90 oh, seconds God. to target, 90 seconds to target, which is green with my bombing computer. One minute, 90 seconds. Oh, it's working out so beautifully. Yep. I see the ground units. Yeah, they're just taking pot shots. It's not, I'm not too worried about it. Yeah. Until we get blasted out of the frigate sky. Package taken out by effective uh, AK-74s. Yep, I've got seven zero seconds to bomb release. 60, 60 seconds out from target. All is beautiful. One minute to bombs. Yep, stay 480. Shit, I'm going to, don't get too excited guys. Some of you are boosting forward, don't do it yet, don't do it yet. Stick to the mission, stick to Simba. All right, if you're gonna pop up, pop up at two miles, I'll call it out. Watch out. Crap's got contrails, 10 o'clock. All right, there's your secondary target. We're at four miles now. Target in sight. 20 seconds, you are off the hook. Like target. You may buster, you may buster, you may buster. Start flares now. Cap attacking. Missile, 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 missile. Cap dropping. Round out. Big ol'. Bombs out. Air to air. Eagle out. Fight, fight, fight. My target's down. Second target down. Third target down. Fourth target down. Right. Fight. Bridge, I'm gonna go far left. Contrail. Crump's got far right. I've got bias right, but not far. Come on, probably a shot. I can't get egg. Can anyone get a lock? Scratch yep. it. Cap lock. Oh, well. Fox, lock. Fox three. Fox three. Come on, shoot the damn missile. This is stressful. Tracking. All Tracking. missiles are coming out. All missiles are coming out. Cap, sidewinder. Box two. Going in for guns. Box three on Box centers. Splash one. Try to dive. Splash one, splash one, splash one. There's one that got through by us left. Kill it. Splash two. Uh, well done, well done. I think that's all of them. I'm diving down. Missile in the air, smoke in the air. I'm diving down. Missile fun, three zero zero. Jack Flair, straight down. We need to get SA back. Does anyone think, has anyone got any, got any worries that any SU-34s made it through? I see them all blown up. All right, I'm gonna quickly jump on map. SU-35s inbound, fast. Cap's heading the waypoint chain back. If anyone wants to fight them, that's your prerogative. Jesus, an SU-34 just wham right there in front of my face. Cap's back on the deck. Flight 11, 12 o'clock. The weak point in their defences is the waypoint chain. Use the steer point chain. Three, two, four. Just realised the heading. scoreboard tells us SU-34s are shot down, so we're good. Two books have been shot. One uh, stinger's been shot. Still good. I am going to quickly check on map. See what those SU-35s are doing. They're aggressing. They're afterburners on. Go full mill. Don't worry about time on target stuff now. Full mill or afterburner, but probably mill. What's your fuel, Steve? Four. Mill power it is. Those uh, flankers are a good 40 miles behind us. Right, concentrate cell preservation now, guys. And following that steer point chain. Like I said, it's the weak point in their defences. Some of you drifted off the steer point uh, track, which is bad, bad, bad for you. Because you'll run into all kinds of yep. extra SAMs. So some of these going down the hedgerow of trees. Follow that yep. track. Find that track. It's already HSD. Gap entering track. Ooh, someone's speeding across. Watch your heading, because you're going the wrong way. All right, once you pass the plot, you'll pretty much fly at will. Why will? He's a good guy. What He's reliable. What will do to you? He'll get you home. Right, track. Approaching plot. Plot. 
right. All right, waypoint three, heading to waypoint two. Lovely. Once you're past the plot, you're welcome to go back any way you want, but the steer point chain is a good steer point chain. All right, I think uh, once you've hit the plot, turn 286. Okay. For 29. See a friggin' boom. She can run it. Yeah. I've got to go check those SU 35 standby. Oh no. Fires, you're at the back and you are 30 miles from them. Fire oh, dad's my biggest worry at the moment. Okay, I'm golden. I'm out, I'm out of combat. I'm safe. Still 30 miles aft of fire. Uh, somebody's completely going the wrong way. Dark. Alright. I'm just getting out of the SAM range. Yeah. Again, once you're approaching you effective... Turn fire for fire dad. Watch out. Approaching Sorry. effective wow. Patriot fire. Cover. Words. Words are hard. Now Cap just flew right below me. Hello. <laughs> I cap a lot to your left. Hi. I'm going out to my altitude. I mean, moderate altitude, I mean. Just not 50 oh. feet is what I mean. SU-35 still buster, but they're still 25 miles behind fire. I'm going to go and check the Patriot. Is it going to be one of these days where Patriot says no? Is it going to be one of those days, viewers? Then it's a dogfight. Mm, I still got two 120s. Summit fired. What was it that fired? Oh, dear. R77-1's out on fire. Or someone. Actually, I don't know who that is. So. Dark turn back oh, south. I'm on Patriot. Probably going after Dark. One friggin' job. I hate it when he does this. 100% going after Dark. Dodge that thing, Dark. Remember, they're going to come in at Mark 2, so they're going to be like a freight train. Right, I'm, on still, I'm heading towards step point one. Along well, we all are, aren't we? God, one of them's coming right for us at Mark 2. If we have to climb and buster, we will outrun or match the speed of those SU-30s. All right. So warning on fire. Oh, God, they're firing us. Right, I've got the fuel. I'm going high and I'm getting the chuff out of there, guys. Yep. I can outrun them. Just stay, stay low and let the missile burn up in the denser atmosphere. Yeah, but... it doesn't matter. Patriots are out. Patriots mm -hmm. are out. Oh, God. That was really testing our patience there. Oh, I, mean, oh, I cannot get any physically lower than I am right now. Well, you will do when this missile hits you fire. Um, I suggest a hard right pull for aerodynamic uh, thing. Sacrifice pull for altitude. 900 knots. 800 knots. 700 knots. Missile defeated. Trider's going back in. Do we got to do, guys? Three. Ooh, I got a missile warning. Is that on me, Dark? We're well, all firing at the correct bandits. I'm aware this is a precarious situation right now. Trider Fox three. three. Defensive. Slow ass Patriots being big. Missile on me. Yeah, Patriots are out. Roger, Roger, Roger. Sim has got a nasty one on him. I know this is cheating, viewers, but this is fun at this point. Pretty much what it would look like as well, viewers. Good evasion. Great evasion, all of you. Stride isn't the biggest threat, but I think he's going to beat it. Yeah, he's going to beat it. Great evasion, guys. More missiles are out. Yeah, More I've got Patriots. a missile warning, but it won't show me on my RWR where it's from. No, that's always a danger. So if that's the case, just keep heading away. You've beaten yours, Bird. Don't you worry too much. First Patriot's about to start raining down. We've punched them back. They're pushing back to the flop. There's just a few more dangerous adders in the air. Mainly on fire and drop. Amrams have done their job. They've not killed them, but they've pushed them back. Wow, Dark got a friggin' adder on him. Danger, danger. We're all still alive. Right, first Patriots now raining in. Dark's in the biggest threat now. That's why Patriot is so useful for you as a beautiful TVM shot at 80 miles. Zap. One flanker down. They're not firing on your threat, Dark, because he's in a notch. You need to either beat him in a dogfight or find a way of getting him out of a notch of a Patriot. I'll be Watch happy three. to get a guy to go and help him. Simba's turning back. He's got 600 pounds of fuel left. Amram's missed. Dark's in real trouble. Dark's in real trouble. Cancel the rescue. Cancel the rescue. My man uh, Turn out. Turn out. Let the Patriot do his job. Let the Patriot do his job. Good work, everyone. Another one down. It's all working. This is exactly how Patriot is theorized to be used in Ukraine at the moment, viewers. What a brilliant example. Now, in real life, Ru oops, Russian pilots aren't stupid. They would all turn around and go home, but I can't script that or... I'd I don't really know how to script that behavior in, so they will keep running into the Patriot, but it's still a damn good example. Remember, they do not get a warning this Patriot is in travel until the last few miles where it switches to semi-active homing or similar. It's a really important, flag F important concept. Roger. Go on, Simba. Simba had it. Oh, I got up to 25k. That's nice, nice, nice. He's long bombed an A120 down. Yeah, he's still a problem, Simba, because the Patriot still hasn't picked that knob head up. But your missile is long bombs looking nice. And it is homing. 
Could just be the last one down. Hostile skill level set to veteran, which I think is fair. Go on, missile. Go on, missile. Go on, missile. Oh, come on. It went right past his frigging canopy. Fight is still on. Simba is pushing, pushing, pushing. Six miles on a brilliant, brilliant mission. Missile went... Missile got bugged. I don't know why I didn't hit. It just stopped for some reason. Continue the fight. Should have killed him, viewers. Yeah. yeah! Well done, Simba RTB. The rest of you RTB. Simba, you've just been shot at by a friend. Uh, North Fast. Uh-oh, this could be an ugly way to end it, viewers. This is real Fox 3 warfare, I'm afraid. Missiles don't know who's a baddie and who's a goodie. He's beaten it. He's out of the basket. All right, viewers. Everyone did absolutely beautiful. We only lost one F-16 dark, so that was great, you know. We were always going to lose someone after being chased down like that. And we've destroyed an entire base of theirs and four duckheads and four SU-35s. Right, let's go home and land. Right, I was so excited during that. I dropped my drink, viewers. I've got to go and get it. Uh, the bad news is my drink not only spilt and ruined the carpet, or kind of, but also on ruined my letter to the hospital. Um, so I don't know when I'm supposed to turn up now, but I'll have to figure it out and dry it out. That's the bad news. It's pilot life, I'm afraid, viewers. You can just ask them. Yes, I will. So at the very last second, everybody dropping their bombs, my CCRP wasn't working. I had to switch to CCIP super quick and just break a target at random. Roger. Well, you know, it worked. I saw about 80% of the targets being hit, which, for all the problems that could have gone wrong, that was not too bad. And we were being shot at by IR guided missiles and whatnot, so. How much fuel grub? Probably less than 100 pounds. Less than 100 pounds. Right, land it. Land it good. You're still at 40. Watch your speed, yep. watch your speed. Good man. Good way to end. Zero fuel. Alright, put it down, bud. I was I doing really well final. until I got shot at by those missiles and had to do burner and evasion. Now I'm down to 200 pounds. Telegraph foes, bud. Yeah, I saw them. That was a dangerous mission. Preferably, mistake. but... Uh, no, you just shut your engine off. I'm afraid of that gun. Nah, it's okay. I'll pick somebody else. I'll keep it on until it's Alright, uh, third down. Well done, guys. Right, I should be nearly here. Where the hell are I? There, I see you. Right. Ah, stop. Go. Right, I've got a grand total of, oh, literally 50 pounds. How the hell did that happen? Things have gone wrong, viewers, really bad. I've been outside well, of my you're... jet, as you saw. You flew like 40 miles north. Yeah, I was filming stuff and things. Right, I've got to land on 50 pounds like Grunt did. All right, I can do it sexier than him. I can open my freaking canopy. Someone's just going overhead me. Good landing. I see you. Fire's down. That, safe. Is that runway on a heading of 230? Uh, 320, uh, 330 is what I've gone on, but yeah, they're the opposite. Happy emergency. Guy who's approaching the tents, get off the runway right now. I can't slow down or go around. Runway clear. Good, good timing. That was closer than I like, guys. I'm having a drink with me, Captain, on the right I side. will come and have it. The no fuel club, right? Simba, okay. come come right if you can to 285. Simba, off your nose at 5 miles, 400 feet to drop on final for the runway. I could drop doing it right with the canopy off. Saves weight, adds sexiness. No, no. Ah! Hey, bud. Oh, that go was a bit close. Was a bit close, Rob. I really tested the friendship that one did. I've missed Bird. You have. And he's missed you. Me, not so much. 300 pounds. 800. You guys, you carry all the fuel in the world. You got a man coming in hot, so get off. Yeah. No, you want to get off the runway now. Oh, yeah, you want to get off the runway right now. So. Do it. Vacate, vacate. All right. Nice. He was just teasing. He was just teasing. Watch that wing tip. Watch that wing tip. Oh, he's a Plenty. very valuable jet. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. Oh, no. oh, oh don't lose oh, no. that. No, no, no. Don't you no, lose that. No, he's still good. 
Yeah! Teasing! Yeah. Just teasing, was... guys. You're looking good. I'm going to track you behind. Oh, viewers, we are getting awfully good at this. Uh, that's it, guys. Um, really good. Any thoughts? Me and Drops have a score to settle when you're ready to end it. Do it. Now. Now. Now! Those were denoted on good faith. On good faith!